Good morning. Hope you're doing well this morning. Another one has been promoted to heaven. I don't know if some of you have maybe not heard the news, but um, Rob Tripp of the Laverne and Edith Tripp family has gone home to be with the Lord. And so we are praying for the family. There are so many things happening, as well as in India, a helicopter crashed and the chief of the military and all of his associates were in this helicopter and they died. This just happened within the last few hours. As well as all of the earthquakes that are happening all of the floods that are happening, the blizzards. It's unbelievable. And still we continue on with what the Lord has us doing. Amen? This is a time when things are beginning to get darker and darker. I uh, even heard some very alarming things in, about China and Australia that I don't feel at liberty to share but things are rapidly coming to a quick close. John 15, number 5 and 8. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me... You can do nothing. Without the Lord, you can't do much. I'm so very glad that some of these people have gone on to be with the Lord, actually, in their individual situation. Because even though the families want the people to stay that are in this situation. We must turn it around and see it from the person that's lying in the hospital bed or wheresoever they happen to be. We must see it through their eyes. I know that when I was taken to heaven by the Holy Spirit two times and then I saw Jesus a third time in the atmosphere, I didn't want to come home. I didn't want to come back to earth. It's hard to see it from that side unless you have actually experienced it. But the only reason you would come back, and many share this testimony, is the fact that you thought of your loved ones that were on the earth still. And that was the reason you came back. But now, the times are getting so close to when the Lord is coming that we don't need to think that it's going to be a long time if God takes us or that person that's in that situation. We don't need to think it's going to be a long time. These are the end days right before the Lord is coming. And the remnant is getting smaller and smaller. Do you notice that? I notice that. And at the same time, God is moving through his remnant in great and mighty things. God keeps us with hope in our heart. Because Jesus said, Lo, I am with you always even unto the end. And he is, I believe, saving us because we are not appointed unto wrath. I know some believers have changed their opinion. They believe we're going to go through things that they would have never said years ago. I still stand in hope that I will not see 
the wrath of God because I believe the Bible in Revelation speaks of our catching away and many children are dreaming of this. Many will fall away, just as it says. Many will fall away. But there are those that will remain true to the faith, true to their belief, no matter what. No matter what. And in these final moments, what can we say? In these final moments, how can we pray? In these final moments, who are we really thinking of? In these final moments, we wonder when will be the final moment, that last moment, that last 30 seconds, that last 20 seconds, that last 10 seconds. And then the trump will sound. We will hear it because we are listening for it. We're watching for him to come and get us. Every morning, that's all I think about. I'm ready, Lord. Is this the day? If it is, so be it. I leave my family and everything in your hands. That's all I can do. If it's not the day, I will work until you come for everything you put before me. I will fight the good fight. I will fight the good fight. Because many are running. Many are running. But God will protect us and put a dome over us. We must believe this. Otherwise, it's not a good witness and many other things. Thank you, Father, for this time. Lord, I just want to stop and pray. I just want to pray for my brother, my sister, that's not in a good way, emotionally, spiritually. They're concerned. They're wondering. They have many questions. Father, I pray that you touch that one this day, that you comfort them, you let them know they are very important to you and that they are still here for that specific reason that through all of the words you've given them you will bring those words to pass. We look for your return, Lord. And we will proclaim you, Lord Jesus, King of Kings, and Lord of Lords, of it all, because you are, you are the only begotten Son. I couldn't believe I heard a mainstream preacher the other day say, Jesus wasn't the only begotten Son. We're all sons. Do you see what that does by saying that? What that does, that excludes Jesus out of that place. It subconsciously removes him from that place of the only. Because it is pride inside a man that wants to include himself in that place of a high position, as high as Jesus. I don't know one human being 
that died, giving all of his blood, that gave up a whole kingdom, left heaven to die and be buried and to rise again so that we might go, not one. I love you guys. I pray you have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow.